Today we're going to be making our symmetrical totem mask design. You've already hopefully folded your paper in half. You're going to carefully make sure the ends meet. Hold that with one hand really firmly. Push back the middle. Go from one side. And I'm still holding with this hand really tight so the ends cannot move apart. And I go one side and then the other. Make sure you did not forget to put your name at the bottom. And of course your class code, your grade, grade three, and your teacher's initial. And you're going to open your paper up. Today we are painting half. That fold line that you just made is the middle of your totem mask shape. I like to start with the outside shape and the outside should take up most of the paper. So we'll start at the top and you're going to keep the paint nice and wet as you put it on, whatever kind of ear you want it to have. Now I've already done something that I probably shouldn't have. I painted a lot. When we're doing paint and print, the only way it works to get it to print is if it's wet when we print it. Not so wet that it has big puddles, because then it's going to push out and be a big blob. But it should be wet. You should be able to see that it's shiny because it's wet. You're gonna fold it on that fold. Make sure it's a good crease before you print it. And you have to, of course, press on the area where you just painted. I'm pressing pretty firmly to make sure that I can push it onto the other side. You're going to see where I had a lot of wet paint, it's going to spread out. Now, if everything worked correctly, you should have a nice print on the left side. I painted on the right, it printed to the left, and there's my symmetrical, the same on both sides. I'm going to work through and finish my pick painting. And the key is to paint a little, print a little. Paint a little, print a little. That's probably enough right there that I painted. I like to paint it first lightly and then go back. You see how I'm keeping my brush up on its toes so I'm not pushing down hard. I refilled my brush and painted it a second time. And let's see how that turns out. It printed, it has a little light area. I did not press it real hard. And I also may have let some of my paint dry. So I will have to patch that up when I'm finished. But it is creating that symmetrical design where it's going to be the same on both sides. I'm not thinking of any particular animal right now. I'm gonna go over it a second time. I'm thinking that I want a nice, bold design like we saw in the Native American totem poles. Nice, rich black outlines. Move that up a little bit so you can see this. Nice, rich black outlines. You see I got a little paint squeezed out on the table. And we have an outline of what I wanna do for my mask. Now when you make the eyes, the nose, the mouth, my mask will have two eyes. I only need to paint one eye. Whatever shape you decide to make it is up to you. Remember, paint a little, print a little, paint a little. It's, I can see where it's shiny and where it's shiny, that's the paint still wet. So I am just going to paint that much. I'm gonna make sure that I press it right where I painted. My paper's a little lighter, so I can actually see the paint. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but I can see it kind of showing through so I know right where to press. And there it is. You can see where I had extra paint. It kind of made little blobs. And that's okay. That shows that this is a print. That's part of the technique of printing. And so you get some of those irregularities. 
Now a nose, I only need how much? This is my middle line. I'm painting only on the right and printing on the left. So how much of a nose do I need to paint? I am going to paint just half of the nose. Just half. I'm going over it a second time to try to make sure everything is wet. I'm not leaving big globs of paint. A nice smooth brush stroke of wet paint is what you need. You should really hold it with one hand and press it with the other, but right now I'm holding my phone to videotape this with one hand, which makes it a little harder to do the pressing part, but it seems to have turned out okay. I actually like where these kind of irregularities are happening. It gives the nose a bit more character. And now I want a mouth. Well, really, I'm just going to let my mouth be the bottom of the nose and down into this chin part. And again, how much of the mouth do I have to paint? I only want one mouth on my mask, so I'm only painting half of it because this middle line, and I do not ever paint a line down the middle, that's the middle of the mask. That middle line is the middle of my mask, which would be half of a mouth on one side, half of a mouth on the other side. And there it is. Now to finish it off, I have a lot of open spaces around here. If I were to color this in, this would wouldn't be one big color. I wanna break it up so it's a little more interesting, so it's not just one solid color. So just doing a couple lines like that, let's see what that does to the top when I print it. Now I'm starting to break it up and have some additional shapes in it. Give it a line here to kind of break that up, maybe even break that ear in half. Now I have some more shapes for coloring in different colors. Overall, it creates a much more interesting design. It's not as plain as it was before I put those lines in there. And maybe just I'm keeping my brush on its toes so I don't get too thick of a line, so I don't spread the paint out too far and it won't maybe give it something that kind of resembles teeth. And in this case, I will put a line in the middle. You hear that noise in the background, that's my dogs that went inside. I let them out before I started this video. And there we go. I might choose to put a couple more lines in here to give it some, to break it up a little, but I kind of like it just like it is. Where this is lighter over here, where it didn't print so well, to finish up, I want a nice bold black line, so I'm probably just gonna patch that up a little. Wherever I patch it, I'm going to also print it so that if I made any changes in the shape of the line when I painted it on the left side, that it's still going to match and be perfectly symmetrical with the right. So if you're patching something up, make sure you then print it again after you've patched it up with a little paint to bring that bold black quality to your design like we saw on the Native American totem poles and totem designs that we looked at. All right, I'm going to let my pups in now. We'll let you take a look at them. And here they are, all anxious to be inside.